Once I saw that orange on the back of the head, I knew what it was. Wow. Never seen this snake before. Hi, this is Frank of the Ocho Verde Wildlife Channel. Come check out the snakes we found last month in the jungle of Costa Rica. All right, first snake of the year. Cat-eyed snake. Hanging out on the little plant. Pretty small, Tracy Palo. Goodbye. It's a Nini Maculata, coffee snake. Again, another favorite food of coral snakes. All right, another Ninia Maculata coffee snake. Pretty cool. This again, it looks like a juvenile. Favorite food of coral snakes. Taking off pretty good. This cat eye snake. Kind of what you see. Well, we were long overdue for blunt head tree snake. Come on, stick out your tongue. Anyway, this is adult. This is an adult, it's over a meter long. There we go. It's the first one of the year. Happy New Year, Blunt Head Tree Snake. This is the driveway. This is the coral snake in the driveway. How cool is that? Check it out, it's backing up. It probably knows I'm here. Because of the light, but uh, we'll see what's gonna happen with it. See what the uh, head looks like. I think it's a uh, Allen's coral snake, though. Yeah, it is totally disappeared in that grass, huh? Here's the tail. It's not a good place for it because it can get run over. Well, this coral snake has all but disappeared right in two inches of grass. It's amazing. You can see right there a little bit of it. A little bit more of it right there. 
definitely an Allen's coral snake. We saw the head. I don't want this snake in the driveway because it can get run over by us in the morning if it decides to stay here overnight. So let me just, if I can coax him. Beautiful big snake. You can see how long it is. And we only get one coral snake per trip, usually. So this is it. We'll see. <laughs> Young forest racer. I don't really know what snake this is. Uh, it could be a tantilla, but I've said that before. Oh no, it's something else. I think it was a tantilla. Crazy orange band around the neck and check out the blue stripes along it. Wow, never seen this snake before. There, look at that. Look at that. Hey, so um, check this out. It's a dead blunt head tree snake. I have no idea what happened to it. It's a young one, obviously. Who knows? I don't really see any trauma. Who knows? Huh. This is the uh, fourth cat eye of the night. Let's see, there's his head. Just almost not a baby anymore. He's about to lose his crown or his uh, neck band. This is the uh, most common cat eye snake we have here. Let's hide the era or nata. Can you see that little snake tail right there going away? I don't know what it is, but we're going to have to scrape through some of this to see. I think it's the sock head snake.
kind of wiggly little guy. Their tails will break, so I'm trying to be real careful with it. There we go. One head tree snake. We've certainly seen many of those. Yep, blunt head tree snake. This is a full on adult. Hunting lizards. Got a cat-eyed snake. You can see it goes like that. And there's the head. On an old stump here. See that stump? Looking for lizards and frogs. I'd love to see them eating a cicada. Seven-bellied racer in the tree. Kind of been waiting for the snake. Um, haven't seen one. We usually can find them. And if you can see the little bit of orange on the belly there, it's probably. An adult. Here's a cat eye snake. Pretty tranquilo. In mid-January, Caesar of the Doc Frog YouTube channel gave a free educational talk about snakes to the community. Later, we hiked in the forest and found these. Wow. Great eye. Look at that guy. He's so peaceful. Dime cuando? Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and coming next time. But of course, that's exactly how I saw him, the eye shine. <laughs>